Every single time there's a new driver, I think, is this the one? Well, let's have a look at the NVIDIA Game Ready Driver version 580.88. It's a new driver branch, and it's packed with fixes for some issues that have been frustrating the gaming community for a while now. This release is a welcome sign of progress as it brings key gaming improvements and addresses highly requested bug fixes, including a critical fix for 32-bit games using the DXVK translation layer, which is a massive relief for those of us who still enjoy older titles. The good news is that this driver truly feels like a step forward. It provides the best gaming experience for new games that support DLSS 4 or like Mafia, the old country, Claire Obscure, Expedition 33, and the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. On top of that, it fixes a long list of bugs that have been a real headache. We're finally seeing fixes for the ray tracing artifacts in World of Warcraft, the strange square artifacts around lights in Battlefield 2042, and a micro stutter issue in Cyberpunk 2077 when V-Sync was on. Even the long-standing ray tracing crashes in Control have been addressed, which is a huge deal for a lot of players. These are significant quality of life improvements that were a long time coming. The driver also fixes some general bugs that are great for gamers, such as the GPU scaling option missing from the NVIDIA control panel and the Optimus bug that was draining laptop battery life on the flip side even with all these fixes this driver isn't a magic bullet some of the most persistent and frustrating issues still remain the most notable one which is really starting to get old is that cyberpunk 2077 still crashes when you try to take a screenshot in photo mode with path tracing enabled. This has been a known problem for months and users are understandably frustrated. The driver also doesn't fix the distorted text in Counter-Strike 2 at sub-native resolutions and despite being marked as fixed in a previous driver, Forza Horizon 5 continues to have stability issues for many. For some people, especially those with high-end cards and VR headsets, stuttering in games is still a major problem that has been plaguing them for several driver versions. The biggest takeaway here is that while this is a very strong update with a lot of welcome fixes, it's not perfect for everyone. The community feedback is mixed. For every user celebrating a fixed bug in Battlefield 2042, there's another still reporting random black screens or frustrated that the GPU scaling fix doesn't work with their multi-monitor setup. So while this new driver branch is a major win for many, it's clear that for some, the wait for a completely stable and bug-free experience isn't over just yet. 